The Care and Preservation of Family Photographs The Care and Preservation of Family Photographs is the fourth in a series of tutorials produced by the State Historical Records Advisory Board and the State Archives of North Carolina. Support of this series is made possible through a grant from the National Historical Publications and Records Commission. Photographs are some of the most treasured of all family heirlooms, but because they are made from a variety of sensitive materials, they are easily damaged and may not survive to be passed on to future generations if improperly stored, displayed, and handled. This tutorial will introduce you to the issues you should consider when handling family photographs and provide guidance on how to preserve your family's collections. Rough and hurried handling can cause tears, scratches, creases and cracks. Oils, lotion residues and perspiration on your skin can stain photographs. Make sure your hands are clean and dry when handling them or for better protection wear clean white cotton gloves. Avoid touching the emulsion of a photograph. Hold it by the edges and from underneath, using two hands if necessary. Avoid eating and drinking near photographs to prevent accidental staining or damage. Support large or fragile photographs by placing a rigid board, like mat board, beneath them when lifting or moving. Do not force albums or scrapbooks to lie flat and be aware that photographs and albums may be loosely attached or completely detached. Do not attempt to remove photographs from an album if the emulsion is sticking to a plastic cover or another page of the album, or if the backing begins to tear when you try to remove it from the page to which it has been glued. If an album is damaging photographs of value, contact a conservator. Store photographs in a place in your home where the temperature and relative humidity can be controlled year-round. Storage conditions of 68 degrees Fahrenheit and between 30 to 50 percent relative humidity are recommended. An internal closet or room surrounded by other living spaces often provide the most stable environment for the storage of photographs. Avoid storing photographs in basements, attics, on the floor, or near pollutants given off by fresh paint fumes, plywood, cardboard, and cleaning supplies. Light can be very damaging, causing fading and staining, especially of color prints and slides. Avoid displaying photographs in direct sunlight and limit all other types of light exposure. Since the damaging effects of light are cumulative and irreversible, continuous or permanent display of photographs is not recommended. Safeguard the original photograph by displaying a copy print. Folders, envelopes, sleeves, and boxes provide protective layers which mitigate changes in the environment, limit light and dust, and assist with safe handling. The size and shape of the enclosures should closely match the photographs they hold. Individual housing is ideal. Consider individual housing for fragile photographs or photographs with great sentimental, historic, or aesthetic value. Small groups of the same type photograph of similar size and condition can be stored together in a folder, envelope, or sleeve and then placed in a good quality box. Avoid paper clips, rubber bands, pressure sensitive tapes and labels, rubber cement, glues, and lamination. Negatives and transparencies such as slides benefit from the same type of good quality paper or plastic enclosure as used for prints. Preservation supply companies offer negative enclosures in a variety of safe formats. Replace older plastic or paper enclosures from photo labs if damaging interactions such as brittle paper, staining, or fading are noted. The term archival is often seen in reference to housing materials. However, manufacturers have used it to describe a wide variety of products with varying degrees of quality. It is important to look at the actual composition of the enclosures and select those that are constructed well, have a high degree of purity, and are acid-free, lignin-free, and sulfur-free. Paper enclosures can be buffered, meaning they contain an alkali material that can neutralize acids as they form or non-buffered. 
Buffered enclosures last longer than non-buffered and offer protection to photographs mounted on poor quality board. Non-buffered enclosures may be preferred if the relative humidity cannot be controlled and often exceeds 60 to 70 percent. Acceptable plastics for storage of photographs are uncoated polyester, polypropylene, and polyethylene. Polyvinyl chloride, or PVC plastics, are not recommended since they are chemically unstable and can damage photographs. PVC plastics are sometimes identified by the label vinyl and often by a strong plastic odor. Not all PVC plastics may emit a strong odor, so read labels carefully. Enclosures that pass the Photographic Activity Test, or PAT, are excellent choices for both prints and negatives. The PAT evaluates potentially harmful physical and chemical interactions between the photograph and the enclosure. Many preservation supply companies will indicate when their enclosures have passed the PAT. Heirloom or keepsake photographs should be mounted using museum quality mat boards, photo corners, and UV filtering plexiglass. Photographs should be matted to prevent direct contact with the frame or glazing. Avoid pressure sensitive tapes, rubber cement, and glues when securing photographs and mats. Older mats and frames should be carefully examined and photographs removed if mats or frames are poor quality. Seek assistance from a qualified framer or conservator before removing photographs from old mats or frames. Using a copy for display will reduce damage to the original photograph. Do not scrapbook with original photographs. Use copies for all scrapbooking projects. Consult the labeling and product information of albums to choose albums with readily identifiable good quality paper or plastic pages. If important or heirloom photographs must be attached in an album, use reversible mounting techniques such as paper or plastic photo corners. More damage may be caused by trying to remove photographs from older historic albums than by leaving them intact. Self-adhesive or magnetic albums are damaging to photographs and should not be used for your photographs of value. When possible, label the enclosure rather than the photograph. If photographs must be directly labeled, Write only on the back of the photograph and use light pressure to avoid embossing the photograph. Soft graphite pencil like a number 2B is recommended because it is harmless to photographs, will not fade, and is not water soluble. India ink in a technical pen, film marking pens, or blue photo pencils which pass the PAT may be used to label the back edge of contemporary color prints which are resin coated. Label the top edge of plastic negative sheets and slide pages using a film marking pen. Ballpoint pens and magic markers are not recommended. Scanning photographs is a popular way to provide greater access to them. Older photographs may be brittle and have fragile surfaces, so exercise care while scanning to avoid damage. Digitization is not in and of itself a preservation measure. Do not throw away your original photographs, ever. For more information about digital photographs, see the tutorial, Managing and Preserving Digital Images. Do not attempt to clean or repair photographs of value. Over-the-counter products, such as pressure-sensitive tapes and labels, rubber cement, glues, and household cleaners can be very damaging. Stabilize and protect fragile photographs with good quality enclosures and duplicate them to reduce handling the originals. There may be times when you have to contact a professional conservator such as in the event of a disaster. If negatives show signs of rapid deterioration such as stains, odors, or wrinkles, if photographs exhibit active mold growth, flaking emulsions, or staining from pressure sensitive tape, if photographs are tightly rolled, curled, or folded, if photographs have severe tears, cracks, or broken or brittle mounts, or if a photograph is adhered to its enclosure or to the glazing in a frame. Preserving your family photographs can be a fun and rewarding endeavor and does not have to cost a fortune. The money and time you devote to preservation now will be rewarded many times over as you share these invaluable treasures with future generations. 
There are many valuable resources to help you care for your family photographs. The National Park Service has a series of conservograms dedicated to photographic preservation. The American Institute for Conservation supports a specialty group for those interested in photographic preservation. The Getty Conservation Institute maintains a list of resources about the conservation of photographs from basic information to the Atlas of Analytical Signatures of Photographic Processes. The Image Permanence Institute is devoted to preservation of image collections and material culture. The website of the Library of Congress maintains a section on the care, handling, and storage of photographs. ECS Conservation in Brown Summit, North Carolina, offers photo conservation services. Photographic archival supply catalogs can be obtained from companies such as Light Impressions, Gaylord Brothers, University Products, and Hollinger Metal Edge. The State Archives of North Carolina can help, too, with suggestions and guidance for caring for family photographs. Contact Kim Anderson, Audiovisual Materials Archivist, at 919-807-7311 or kim.anderson at ncdcr.gov. The care and preservation of family photographs is made possible through a grant from the National Historical Publications and Records Commission. Special thanks to Kim Anderson, Sarah Kuntz, Emily Rainwater, Chris Meekins, Francesca Perez, Kelly Eubank, and Andrea Gabriel. Other tutorials in this series include Identifying and Protecting Essential Family Records, General Paper Preservation Tips, Caring for and Sharing Family and Personal Papers, and Managing and Preserving Digital Images.